Hello students, in this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the minimum distance between two moving ships or two moving vehicles which are moving along perpendicular directions. Here, the first ship is moving along the east direction and the second ship is moving along the north direction and the distance between them at a certain instant of time becomes minimum and we have to find out at what is this minimum distance and after how much time the distance will become minimum. So let us proceed. So here is the diagram and here is the question and here is our navigation directions east, west, north and south. Two ships A and B move with equal speeds B is equal to 10 km per hour in a sea. Ship A is moving towards east. This one, the ship A is moving towards east. Here is the east direction. And the ship B is moving towards north. This is the north direction. So the ship B is moving towards north with the same speed. At initial moment, ship B is 100 km south of ship A. The distance between them is 100 km and the ship B is, is toward the south of the ship A. According to this, it is toward the south of the ship A. Find the minimum distance between them, of course, in the subsequent motion, and also find the time after which the distance between them becomes minimum. Right. Let us try to understand that how the distance between them will become minimum. First of all, how they are moving? Like this. The ship A is going along the x axis and the ship B is going along the y axis. Let us see once, once again. So this is actually a two dimensional motion, a 2D motion is quite complicated and uh, we have to use vector algebra to solve this problem. So let us try to see that uh, why does the distance between them which is initially 100 will become minimum after some time. Once again you see the animation. Okay. Now let us look at this uh, picture. So the ship B is here and ship A is here. As they begin to move in two different directions, initially the distance between them is 100 km. But see, after some time, ship B will move little bit ahead along north and ship A will move toward east. Now, this dotted line represents the distance between them. We may guess that this distance is now actually has become lesser than the initial distance 100 km per hour. Sorry, 100 km. Again, let us say the ship A and B move little bit more. Now the distance becomes this. It is becoming shorter. You can see if you compare the initial distance that was given here, 100 km, the distance has become smaller. Now I think here is the one where we have the minimum distance between them. And now as the ships go, the distance is going to increase now. Once again it increases and increases. Finally they go like this. Let's go back and see once again. All this animation once again we will see. So once again let us try to understand as the ships are moving the distance between them begin to decrease and finally again become to increase. So in between there was a moment of time where the distance between them became minimum. So once again we have the question and uh, now we will try to find out the minimum distance between them that will happen when the ship A will be some here place and B will be here. But actually this question can be solved in an easy way if you use the vector algebra and relative motion. We will solve this question using the relative motion method. That is the easiest method to solve the question. So let us assume that the observer is sitting in the ship B. Imagine that you are sitting, you imagine yourself sitting inside the ship, ship B and uh, let the A move. So when you become the observer in the ship B, what will be the velocity of ship A as seen by you? That is called as the relative velocity. We shall find the relative velocity of the ship A with respect to the ship B. Here, with respect to means with respect to that observer who is sitting inside the ship B. Imagine yourself as an observer in the ship B and you are watching the ship A going in the sea. Thus, the ship B will appear at rest. Yes, when you are observer inside the ship B, 
then your ship B will appear at rest for you, but the ship A will be moving. So, let us find what will be the velocity of ship A with respect to ship B. So, the formula to calculate the relative velocity is this. Notice the arrow symbols above this. This means this is a both are vectors and we have to do vector subtraction. Velocity of A with respect to B is equal to velocity of A minus velocity. This is the vector subtraction formula for finding relative velocity. If you see in the figure, this VA, the velocity of A is along uh, x direction. So, we can say 10 i cap. And the velocity of B is along y axis. Let us assume that y axis is along the north. So, the velocity of the ship B is 10 g cap. So, firstly, we have written here that the relative velocity of the ship A as seen by B with respect to the ship B is equal to the velocity of A minus the velocity of B. So, from the figure, velocity of A is 10 i cap and velocity of B is 10 j cap. So now this is the resultant velocity, relative velocity of A with respect to B. Let us try to visualize this uh, vector. And uh, also, also we can write down its magnitude. The magnitude of this relative velocity is uh, square root of 10 square plus 10 square. This is how we find out the magnitude of any vector. The coefficients of i cap and j cap are taken and squared. Actually here, here we are not putting minus sign because square of the negative term is become positive only. That's why. So, the magnitude is 10 root 2, but let us look at the picture. Here, I am drawing this arrow right to direction representing this vector 10 i cap. So, this is 10 i cap. And then, let us draw on minus 10 j cap. So, minus 10 j cap minus sign means in the negative y axis direction. So, this is the vector minus 10 j cap. Observe that what I have drawn here, I am trying to draw this relative velocity vector VAB which is a 10 i cap, this vector is 10 i cap and minus 10 j cap, this one is minus 10 j cap. So, the resultant of both of these is this relative velocity v a b. So, using the palogram law, I am just drawing two dotted lines here to complete the palogram and uh, this is the diagonal of the palogram which is the resultant of the these two velocity vectors 10 i cap and 10 j cap which is nothing but v a b. So, this VAB whose magnitude is 10 root 2, this is the resultant or you can say it is the relative velocity. It is the relative velocity of the ship A as seen by the ship B. And uh, what about these two angles? How much angle does this uh, relative velocity vector mix with the x and y axis? So, actually these two angles are 45 degree each because the reason is that whenever any vector has uh, two components which are equal in magnitude, then the angle would be 45 degree only. Right. So, now that we have obtained the relative velocity, we can conclude this. Because the relative velocity of the ship A with respect to B is 10 root 2, magnitude 10 root 2 and the direction is making 45 degree angle with respect to both x and y axis. So, therefore, actually, the ship A will be appearing to move along this direction. This is the path of the ship A as seen by the ship B. Although, with respect to the ground frame of reference, the ship A is moving along this x axis. But we are solving the question with respect to the frame of reference of the ship B. The observer who is sitting inside the ship B, he sees that the ship B is at rest condition and the ship A has a relative velocity 10 i cap minus 10 j cap. That means the direction is actually like this, 45 degree angle. So, the ship A is actually moving along this line, appear as appeared to be B. In reality, the ship A is moving along this x direction, but related to the ship B, the ship A is moving along this direction. So, this line is the path of the ship A as seen by B, which is making 45 degree angle with both the axes. So, ship A is moving something like this as seen by the observer in B, right? This is how the ship A is moving. Once again, let us see. The ship A appears to move along this line. This is the path of the ship A as seen by the observer. Now, we have to find what is the minimum distance. You see, uh, as the ship A starts from here and keep moving along this path with respect to the observer, here in between there will be a moment when the distance between them will be minimum and that is actually the perpendicular distance on this line because in mathematics we have a theorem 
from the topic of geometry of lines and points that if there is a line and there is a point the minimum distance between the point and a line is nothing but the perpendicular drawn from the point onto the line see we have drawn here three different distances one can clearly see the minimum distance is that one which will be perpendicular to that line so this is the theorem that the minimum distance between a point and a line is the perpendicular drawn from the point on the line. So we are going to use the same technique to solve the question. Once again, we have the same figure. So this is the this line is the path of the ship A as seen by B. So whenever B will see the ship A will appear to move along this path. So minimum distance is the one which is perpendicular on this line. We have to draw from B, we draw perpendicular. So like this, we draw perpendicular. So this point is C, let us say, okay. So this is a 90 degree angle, 90 degree here. Okay. So this remaining angle will be 45 degree because in this triangle ABC, total angle should be 180. So 45 plus 45, 90 plus 90, total 180. So we got all the three angles here. We got triangle ABC. Now look at this. On this right side, I have drawn the same right triangle ABC, this one, ABC, in a little easy way to understand. Now. It is given the question that uh, this length AB is 100. Initial length between the ship A and B was 100 kilometers. So this length of this triangle AB, the hypotenuse length will be equal to 100. And uh, now by applying, look at here, by applying our trigonometry, we can say the base length BC must be equal to 100 into cos 45 degree, which will turn out to be 100 into 100 into 1 by root 2, cos 45 is 1 by root 2, so 100 by root 2 and similarly the opposite side of this 45 degree angle would be 100 sin 45 degree which is again 100 by root 2 because sin 45 is also 1 by root 2. Now, this triangle ABC is same as this triangle ABC here. So that's why we have found the length BC 100 by root 2. So this length BC which is nothing but our minimum distance is also equal to 100 by root 2 kilometer. Thus, we have found the first answer. Find the minimum distance between them. The minimum distance between them will be equal to 100 by root 2. They do, this will happen when the ship A will reach here at the point C. Now, the second part of question is also find the time after which the distance between them become minimum. Okay. So, in order to calculate time, we need this distance. How much distance the ship A has traveled from here to point C when the distance become minimum? So this much distance is also 100 by root 2 as can be seen here, AC distance is 100 by root 2. Now we are using the formula, time is equal to distance by speed. This is the distance travelled by the ship A, AC distance in order to make the distance minimum between B and ship A. So distance travelled 100 by root 2 and the speed of the ship A is 10 root 2. See the real speed of the ship A is 10 km per hour. This is with, with respect to ground frame of reference. But as we are solving the question in the frame of reference of the ship B, with respect to B, we have already found the velocity of A with respect to B is 10 root 2. So the speed of the ship is 10 root 2. Dividing this thing, we will get answer as 5 hours. 5 hours is the time taken after which the distance between them becomes minimum. So this is the easiest technique of finding the minimum distance between the two ships and also the time taken. A very nice question for JE main and J advanced. So I hope that you have enjoyed this so this problem solving method. And if you like this video, please press the like button and also subscribe my channel. And after that, please also have a look into my YouTube channel. That there are lots of videos, and the channel is growing. Many videos are getting added. Please keep on visiting. Thank you.